teaching a calm chin rest. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a calming chin rest. Now this can be beneficial to many types of dogs. Um, for example, reactive dogs, shy dogs, overexcited dogs, and easily distracted dogs like this dog. She gets easily distracted, especially in the forest or if she hears something scary, some scary noises, then she can become very, very distracted. So teaching a calming chin rest can be a great way to reconnect with your dog in a situation where your dog is having trouble paying attention to you. It can also help to calm the dog down. Now, just grabbing your dog's chin is not very calming at all and it increases your dog's stress. So I'm not saying to grab your dog's chin. It's a behavior that your dog offers to you. The dog puts their chin in your hand. Now, you can teach this as an excitable trick using clicker training. Here's Kiko, my chihuahua, demoing a trick chin rest where she gets very excited. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to teach a calming chin rest. I'm not going to use a clicker when teaching this behavior. One, because it's very hard to hold a clicker and touch your dog and feed your dog unless you have a helper. But also, if you use the clicker in an exciting way, like for agility or for teaching very excitable canine freestyle or arousing obedience exercises, like fast recalls, um, it can have a conditioned, the dog can have a conditioned response to the sound of the clicker, which is arousal and excitement. And then if you're trying to work on something calm, it's hard to avoid that scenario of your dog getting excited when they hear the clicker. So Lacey has had about one or two training sessions on working on putting her chin in a, in a palm. And the first step you'd want to do with teaching a chin rest is teaching your dog to find you reaching under their chin comfortable. Now we've worked with Lacey on this when she was a puppy. So she was very comfortable with us reaching under her chin, but I'll start and show you each step to teaching your dog to be comfortable with having your hand under their chin. If you have an extremely shy dog, work on the exercise touch first. Another great exercise that you can do before you start doing a calm chin rest is teaching your dog to settle and be calm around food. And you can see how to do that in my video, Capturing Calmness. Because if you have a dog that's highly aroused by food, just the presence of the food is making your dog aroused. And how can you condition some calmness with a chin rest if your dog is over the top already because you have a handful of hot dogs? Step one, reach and touch. The first step is simply reaching yes and saying yes or yep as you reach towards your dog. Yes. Then move to feed the treat. Yes. You don't want to do them both at the same time, because look where the dog's eyes are. The predictor that I'm going to give Lacey the treat is my hand moving, and she's already starting to offer some funny behaviors. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. So if your dog were to back up as you reach for their chin, simply go back a step, yes, and start reaching from a distance, yes. Step two, touch and feed at the same time. So to start out, to get them used to it, um, at first they might be a little scared when you touch them, and you've done an amazing job because I can touch them under the chin today. <laughs> but at first you're gonna feed and touch him so that he's getting used to you, um, the hands being on his face. Because if you just try to reach, yes, and then feed, what if he didn't like it? He might back up and be like, what did you just do? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna start by feeding him and touching him at the same time. If you have a dog that is fearful or hand shy, use neutral body postures as you do this exercise. Also make sure to blink slowly and look away from your dog often so that your dog doesn't feel intimidated. So you want to be either maybe standing to the side as you do it or sitting like this um, but not leaning and then coming like that. Sure. Step 3. Reach, touch, say yes and then feed. With your dog in front of you, reach forwards and touch your dog's chin, use your marker word, and then move to feed your dog a treat. Okay. Good. Step four, add eye contact and increase duration. Now I'm gonna reach and keep my hand underneath her chin. Yes, 
and say yes for her accepting me, keeping my hand there. Good job. Yes. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. Yes. So you can see she's looking at my hand. So now, the next step, after she's accepting having my hand under her chin, is getting some eye contact. So I can make a little kissy noise. Yes. Yes. And the moment you want to say yes is when your dog's eyes are looking at you. As you can see, when I move my hand, suddenly the eyes will move away from my eyes. So I want to make sure that I say yes before I move my hand. Yes. Good job. Yes. So he's very smart. Now he's doing it without me asking. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I can feed him. Step five. Get the dog to offer the behavior. Okay. Now... The dog is very comfortable with the chin rest. You can start to see if the dog will offer the chin rest. Now, you can either free shape the behavior, where you simply offer your hand and see if the dog, yes, will put their chin in your hand. Now you're going to lower criteria, so you're just going to, yes, say yes for the chin going in your hand, but not also the eye contact, because asking for the chin and eye contact would be very hard, and your dog might just give up and say, hey, you're making things too hard, and and walk away or get frustrated, whine and bark. So if your dog can't offer putting their chin in your hand, there's a way that you can lure it using a treat. And I'll show you that with Lacey. It's much easier if your dog is sitting or laying down when you do this, because if they're up and about, they'll be moving about and it'll be harder to do. Ready? Lacey. Sit. Yes. If they think you're asking for paw, just ignore that and try to be a little quicker with getting your hand underneath their chin. Or you can distract them with the treat, put your hand underneath their chin. Good job. And then while they're eating, then you can start luring. Yes. So I am bringing my hand up from up here to down with my other hand underneath the chin. is getting further and further away. She also has a trick where I do that and she puts her two paws up. So she's got to learn that, oh, it's not about that, it's about the chin. And I'm not going to say no when she does that because I don't want to punish her because that can have some side effects that I really don't like. So, I see. I'm just going to ignore it and try and reinforce the behavior that I do want. Yes. 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 Good job. Yes. Also, if I get her to stand up, she might not offer the paw movement. Yes. 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 Ready? Yes. Step six. Move the chin slowly in your hand and mark for relaxation. Now, after your dog rests his chin in your hand, see if you can slowly move his head to the left and the right. The first few times you do this, most likely the dog's neck will feel very tense and he won't be able to move his head. But when you feel your dog start to relax and the muscles relax, you should be able to move his head very slowly and this is when you're going to mark and reinforce. Other signs to look for that your dog is relaxing is that he is blinking slowly and often as well as his facial muscles are very relaxed. A dog that is very excited will have very wide eyes and not blink very often.